Another soft skill is fleshing out a new idea into a proposal and grant writing. Yeah. Let's talk about that. I mean, what can we do to help young researchers be more ready with that skill? Uh, asking hard questions. And so what is a hard question? Uh, what do I mean by question? A question which is important and impactful. A question which is, is answerable, or at least in your mind answerable. You don't know how exactly what the steps are, but you see some pathway to getting there. Uh, I think, and making the question uniquely your own, I think one of the biggest mistakes young people make when they start thinking about problems or proposals, they say, what is an important problem? What will be an important problem in five years? Uh, one of my good colleagues and friends, uh, Michael Ortiz says, if I knew it, I'll be working on it and I, wouldn't be, I will never tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, right? Don't follow fashion. Don't follow. Do not follow fashion because a hot field is hot because somebody already made it hot. Okay. And you will be a follower. You will not be the leader in that field. And by the, by the time you jump into the hot field, that field will no longer be hot. And you kind of rev into that hot field. That field will not uh, be hot anymore. I think you have to be cognizant. Uh, you have to... Uh, uh, you have to be aware of what is happening. But you have to really, again, I come back to the point that research is internal, self-driven. You have to find out the question that interests you. Okay, there is a little bit of gamesmanship that you may have to play to kind of dress it up in what is currently of interest to a larger community, you're a member of that community, so you have to, but the core ideas have to be your own. Uh, you can't, you can't do research on somebody else's idea. I mean, somebody else can give you an, ask you a question which can inspire you, but it has to be your own. So to take uh, a current uh, um, current setting, right, uh, we all, uh, Okay, AI, ML is the big thing, right? I mean, so what can I do to get to AI and ML? I think that's the wrong way of thinking, mm. right? Instead, this is a really interesting emergent tool. How can I use it for the questions that I really care about? Or it, will it help me ans do things which I could not do before, right? And there's a distinction between the two, right? One is to say, I want to do ML AI. No, you you'll never succeed at that because it's there are people who have done it, who are doing it, right? Um, but on the other hand, okay, wow, that, that's interesting. How can I use it to answer a question I want? That makes it your own. Oh, sure. So it is in that sense I say don't follow fashion uh, because...